Hey everyone, it's Lockhart QT, and the next Mass Effect game is coming, and we already know that characters such as Liara are coming back, and with concept art teasing all pretty much all of the races from the Milky Way galaxy returning, with Bioware also potentially teasing us the Raloi, which were a species mentioned in the Codex in Mass Effect 3, but didn't actually appear in game. They're a bird-like species that wear suits. You have Geth in priest clothing, if you guys have seen that on the concept art, and a brand new N7 operative character who was shown to us in 2023 who may be the main protagonist or may be the main antagonist. We currently don't know. And don't get me wrong, it's cool Liara's coming back as she's a part of the main, you know, she's a main part of the franchise, but if you were to ask me personally who I'd bring back, there would be only one option, or the main choice rather, best girl herself, Tali Zora Vas Normandy. By the way, spoilers for all four main series Mass Effect games ahead, and if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff for more Mass Effect and Bioware content on the channel. But why is Tally not only mathematically best girl, but also a fan favourite in the Mass Effect community? Well, she's one of the only characters who's completely loyal to Shepard throughout the entire trilogy. We first meet Tally in the Citadel in Mass Effect 1, and she then helps us to defeat Saren and Sovereign in the Geth. We then meet Tally again in Mass Effect 2, where she not only helps us on Freedom's progress, but then again on Haystrom. Tally sticks with Shepard no matter what. Whether it's us dawning alliance colours or Cerberus colours, Tally always has your back. Plus, a lot of you may think she's best girl for, well, let's say, other reasons. Plus, she's really funny, cute, relatable, whilst having a nice blend of cringe and quirkiness about her. But why should Tally appear in the next Mass Effect game? Well, Quarians were noticeably absent from Mass Effect Andromeda, only really appearing in the novelization of the Quarian arc story, so it would be nice to see their return in the next Mass Effect game. It was written that their arc ship, the Kila Siya, hadn't yet reached Andromeda due to the events of the book and the novel that I mentioned earlier, Mass Effect Andromeda Annihilation. The game doesn't spend a lot of time trying to figure out what happened to the Quarian arc, presumably setting up the debut of the ship in the next Mass Effect game, as we do know Andromeda will feature in the next game in some way, shape or form. As we did get that post credit scene in-game in Mass Effect Andromeda as well, aboard the Nexus. And since we don't yet know when the game is taking place in the Mass Effect timeline, if it's a present game, a future game, a far future game, we have no idea, Tally well may be deceased if it's a far future game. Given the Quarian average lifespan, it's highly unlikely Tally will make an appearance in the next Mass Effect game. But in my opinion, we need her to come back, not only as she's best girl mathematically, but in my opinion, she is an integral part of the franchise and the series and the Normandy crew, and the next game just wouldn't be the same without her. Now, I made a video on the channel covering this in more detail, so if you want to go watch that, it'll be on screen now as well as in the description. But personally, I don't mind a new game with some of the old characters returning, so long as the writers give a justified reason both in the lore and for the story for why they should be sticking all together for a new adventure. At the end of Mass Effect 3, in pretty much all the endings, you know, except for Refusal, obviously, the Normandy crashes on an unknown jungle forest planet and we don't know the sort of fate of the Normandy crew and you know Tally is aboard that ship in most scenarios you know depending on if you kept her alive both in Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 so it would be really nice to see a continuation of that. 
Plus the fact that all the merchandise, crossovers with other games and everything else has also been hinting at the next game bringing back a lot of stuff from the Milky Way. But what I really want is a story set shortly after Mass Effect 3 whilst also incorporating Andromeda in some way shape or form, where we experience the rebuilding of the galaxy after the Reaper War from Mass Effect 3. This would most likely mean that Perfect Destroy is the canon ending as well, which I know is going to upset a lot of people by the way. I also did a video on if the Perfect Destroy ending is canon, go and watch that here. And I just think that directly continuing the Mass Effect Milky Way universe offers so many just amazing story possibilities. Just imagine what we might discover when it becomes necessary to open up closed relays in order to try and reconnect all the civilizations, because in the perfect destroy ending pretty much all the mass relays are destroyed, meaning that getting around the galaxy is going to be nigh impossible until they're rebuilt, but who knows what unknown threats are lurking in the Milky Way galaxy. Cerberus may still be in operation, and now the fact that a lot of planets and civilizations and key characters in the military trees for each of the races were killed off in the final battle in Mass Effect 3, there is now that power vacuum and potential for maybe a galactic war or a galactic civil war or some shenanigans to go down. After all, rebuilding all of the mass relays could be a galactical effort so other options may be necessary to explore how we're going to rebuild those and you know what the Normandy crew has been up to in general. Then you have so many of the species that, like I said, were impacted greatly by the war, and it'd be really cool to see how they are all getting on after Mass Effect 3's ending. For example, maybe the Quarians with their experience in living... Basically, they live as space nomads. Maybe they will become more influential after the battle because... Although you can make separate choices, in Mass Effect 3, majority of people did pick the fact that the Quarians did make a massive effort to help Shepard in the war. Obviously, we go to Rannoch, re, like we reclaim Rannoch, so to speak. And personally, as someone who, you know, romance Tally, and Tally is obviously best girl, there's just no question about it. The fact that we can go to Rannoch and hopefully see the fact that maybe she's built a house there or a home with Shepard. That would be really touching to see from my personal standpoint. And like I said, plus the writers could also tie into Mass Effect Andromeda in some way, shape or form, but I don't really know how they could tie it in if the game is set only like a few years or directly after Mass Effect 3's endings. Maybe we have a game, like I suggested in my other video, where we have two separate protagonists, one set in the Milky Way, one set in Andromeda, one set just after Mass Effect 3, the other set, you know, in the far future, because obviously Mass Effect Andromeda takes place 630 odd years in the future and maybe their timelines converge with a story that maybe ties into one another who knows it's just a cool idea i had either that or we get a milky way galaxy game that then references andromeda here or there but again we'll have to wait and see so tell me in the comments below what do you guys think do you think tally will return in the next game and would you want her to return and for more mass effect and bioware content on the channel don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on x and twitter as well that'll be on screen right now as well as in the description and i hope you all have a fantastic day and i hope i'll see you next time bye